Hello guys and welcome to this channel Programming Fever. So this is the third part of KV Music Player and in this part we will create progress bar for our music player. So first import progress bar. To do this import from progress bar import progress bar. Okay, now create a progress bar. I will give name self dot progress bar equals to progress bar and give the value maximum 100 and give value initial value is 0 and for the position use pause hint parameter and for the x position use center x and I will give here 0 0.5 and for the y position use center y and I will give here 0 0.12 okay and also give the size using size hint and I will give here 0 0.8 and 0 0.75 now add this progress bar into our layout so for this use layout dot add widget function and then add self dot progress bar Okay, let's run it. So you can see here progress bar is added, but now it is not updating its value. So for this, we will create a new function and we will execute that function with the help of clock schedule intervals. Okay, so first let me show you by creating the function and I will give name here define update progress bar okay and pass the self and value and now we will check the progress bar value if self dot progress bar dot value is less than 100 then we will update the progress bar value by 1 self dot progress bar plus equals to 1 so every time it will update the progress bar value by 1 okay now we will execute this function with the help of clock intervals to do this come here after this play and create a new event for the progress bar use self dot progress bar event equals to clock dot schedule interval and then use self dot update progress bar so you can see this is the function name that we created here and call this function by the length by the interval self dot sound dot length divided by 60 so this is the interval for updating our progress bar. So let's run it and check. We forget to add dot value here. Okay, so this will update the value of progress bar. Run it again. So you can see this time progress bar is updating. Okay, now create two label for current time and total time. For this, come up here and below the album image, create two labels. I will give name current time equals to label and give the text here. Initially, we will give the 00, zero colon 00, zero and give the position using pause hint. And for the X position use center X and I will give here 0.16 and for the Y position use center underscore Y and I will give here 0.145 okay also give the size using size hint I will give here 1 comma 1 and give the size of the font using font size font underscore size equals to 18 okay similarly create the 
total time label and change the value here it will be same initially it will be 0 and for the x position use 84.84 and I will give the y position same and size will be same and font size will be same okay now add these two labels into our layout so add the label here layout dot add widget use self dot current time and also add total time using layout dot add widget and self dot total I forget to change the name here total time total time okay and give here total time okay let me show you once so you can see our label are created but it is not updating right now so for this we will create an another function and we will execute it with the help of the clock schedule intervals okay so first create the function come down here and create the function define I will give the name set time pass self and t for time okay so now here save the two values total time and current time for the total time we will extract the value of the total time from the song length and for the current time we will extract value from the progress bar value okay and we will convert it into the minute and second format so this first store these values in the current time variable use time dot strf time and then convert it into minute and second okay and pass the time here using time dot gm time and pass the progress bar value here so it will store the current value of the progress bar in the format of the minute and second into the current time variable okay again store the total time value in total time variable using time dot strf time for the format and use minute colon second and then time dot gm time and self dot sound dot length okay so it will store the total time of the song now set these values into our labels okay so for this use self dot current time dot text equals to current time and use self dot total time dot text equals to total time okay now again execute this function using one new event i will create here self dot set time event equals to clock dot schedule interval and pass the function name here self dot set time and pass the value at which interval you want to change okay so for this i will give here one every one second we will update this function so let's run it so you can see total time is here and it is also updating so for every second the set time function is running with the help of clock schedule interval and it is updating the label okay now suppose if a user click on this stop button then you can see the time is not stopped and this progress bar is also not stopped at this point so for this use in the stop audio function use self dot progress bar event dot cancel so that it will stop our event and also stop set time event dot cancel okay and set the label and progress bar value to zero self dot progress bar dot value equals to zero and self dot current time dot text equals to zero colon zero 
and self dot total time dot text equals to zero colon zero. Okay, let's run it again. So when I will click on this stop button, then you can see progress bar value is again set to zero, and our time stamps are also set to zero. So if this video helps you, then hit the like button for me, and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching.